migrating to the cloud is a necessity for digital transformation. For SAP users, another critical migration involves S4HANA, SAP's newest enterprise resource planning or ERP platform. Customers are facing a 2027 deadline to migrate S4HANA from its predecessor, SAP Business Suite, and its digital core, ERP Central Component, or ECC. But the vendor's looming cutoff date isn't the only reason to make the move to S4HANA. Surveys show that most SAP customers see tangible benefits and are actively considering or planning an S4HANA migration. Here, we're going to talk about the basics of S4HANA and what you need to know before migrating. For a deeper dive, explore our complete collection on all things SAP S4HANA by clicking the link above or in the description below. Let's first define ERP. ERP digitizes business functions like accounting, HR, and inventory management, integrates them in a single system, and records transactions in a central database. The problem is, many companies have old, user-unfriendly ERP systems that are hard to maintain. S4HANA is designed to make ERP faster and easier to use. Through a simplified data model, lean architecture, and modern user experience built on the tile-based SAP Fiori UX. The underlying SAP HANA in-memory database speeds up queries and analytics, making it possible to analyze large pools of internal and external data in real time. Several advanced technologies are included or integrated with S4 HANA, such as AI, machine learning, Internet of Things, and advanced analytics. Companies typically move to S4HANA because their legacy ERP systems are no longer sustainable or they want a more current system with access to leading-edge technologies. So say SAP implementation partners Deloitte, EY, and IBM. The potential benefits include easier to update business models, streamlined integration of corporate acquisitions, a simpler user interface, real-time analytics on consolidated data, more accurate forecasting, speedier financial closes, access to the latest technologies, and lower ownership costs. And while S4HANA can play a critical role in your digital transformation, migration comes with a major commitment of time and resources, as well as significant risk. Challenges include securing C-level support for the migration, transitioning from legacy environments, matching ERP functions to business needs, dealing with a high degree of customization, working with unclean master data, and integrating data and applications into the new system. Businesses moving their ERP to S4HANA have three main options that vary according to how much gets migrated, whether SAP or an implementation partner provides the consulting services, and whose cloud infrastructure hosts the ERP. The three approaches to migration are Greenfield, starting with S4HANA Finance, and using RISE with SAP. A Greenfield deployment represents a fresh start, a completely new ERP system, often running on cloud infrastructure or a new data center. It could be a company's very first venture into ERP, but most often, a Greenfield S4HANA deployment involves shutting down another vendor's ERP or an older SAP system. Transferring existing business processes and data from the old ERP system takes a lot of work, but this kind of wholesale move is the best way to secure all of S4HANA's benefits, including predictive analytics, AI, process automation, and real-time reporting. A very common approach is to start with the S4HANA Finance module while delaying the move to other modules. This brownfield approach to migration is feasible because accounting is a classic back-end process that doesn't change very much. Rise with SAP, billed as Business Transformation as a Service, is a bundle of products and services SAP offers to get customers up and running quickly on S4HANA Cloud and its broader ecosystem. The ERP runs on SAP's public cloud or that of a hyperscaler, like Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure. SAP and its consulting partners each offer rigorous strategy and planning processes to determine which migration method is best. This part of the process is often called phase zero. It consists of three key steps. First, evaluate the current system. In this step, also called discovery or readiness assessment, 
You assess the existing ERP system, its data, and the business processes they impact. Licensing and maintenance costs are also considered, users share their pain points, and IT takes an inventory of custom code and analyzes master data. Second, review the architecture. Determine how your existing ERP modules and business processes map to the available S4HANA modules and deployment options and decide which ones to leave behind. And third, analyze the future state. Envision what the new ERP should do based on requirements gathered from users, department heads, executives, and other stakeholders. Try to quantify the benefits, such as cost savings from consolidating ERP systems or launching a new e-commerce business. All this information is useful in making the business case for ERP. There are two main versions of the S4HANA software code, the on-premises version and S4HANA Cloud Public Edition. Bear with me, the names get confusing. The on-premises version of S4HANA, which can also run in a private cloud when it's called S4HANA Cloud Private Edition, doesn't yet cover all the major functional areas in business suite but important modules have been added to S4HANA since the initial rollout of finance, including sales and distribution, production planning, sourcing and procurement, and supply chain management. The divergence between on-premises business suite and on-premises S4HANA can be mission critical for many businesses. Often, the decision centers on whether to exchange existing customizations for the standardized processes, best practices, real-time analytics, and leading-edge technology that S4HANA offers. The differences between legacy SAP ERP and S4HANA Cloud Public Edition are usually even more pronounced. S4HANA Cloud Public Edition is multi-tenant software as a service, which means it's a significantly streamlined, somewhat generic, and mostly non-customizable version of S4HANA. Understanding what Public Edition does and doesn't do is critical. The size of the company, the complexity of its operations, whether those operations are global, and the specific industry all should weigh heavily in the decision to buy the public edition of S4HANA Cloud. There's no single pathway to a successful S4HANA migration, but these steps are highly recommended by experts. Create a well-devised roadmap. Take the time to align on scope, future technical landscape and deployment. Anticipate what you might need from S4HANA over time so you don't get locked into an inflexible model that requires over-engineered, customized systems. Don't get stuck in the past. Avoid recreating the old ERP. Don't hang on to technical debt, like the neglected infrastructure, training, and documentation that older ERP systems tend to accumulate. Focus on using the capabilities of next-generation ERP and its pre-configured industry applications, accelerators, and automated processes. Practice good governance. Develop a governance model to specify where software extensions are best suited, not just in S4HANA, but in other parts of your SAP ecosystem. S4HANA gets much of its mojo from an ecosystem that includes the cloud, analytics, AI, and integration tools and platforms. The result is a more flexible technology stack that won't overburden and prematurely age S4HANA as a development platform. And set a time limit. SAP and its partners offer pre-built templates to get some parts of the business running on S4HANA in just six months. Setting a one-year time frame requires a strong change management process that includes hands-on experience so users can see how the software really works. Many implementation partners have long histories with SAP that predate S4HANA by decades. Choosing the best partner for your business requires due diligence. Here are some tips. Look for a strong selection of deployment methodologies, automated testing, and data migration tools. Ask how many people will be assigned to the project and who will be working exclusively for you. Check for SAP S4HANA certification which is an indicator not only of educational background, but also experience with S4HANA deployment. Talk with references who have undertaken similar projects, ideally in the same industry. Ask what kind of support is available after the new system goes live and at what cost. And finally, insist on written guarantees that the project will be completed on time and stay within budget. 
s hana migration can be a long, arduous, but highly rewarding process. Close collaboration among your internal project team, SAP and its partner, plus working from a detailed roadmap, can go a long way toward ensuring a successful s hana deployment.